It was the first time that the countries of the world spoke about the historical connection of the Jewish people with Eretz Yisrael. Jews for the first time in Jewish history had the homeland and could decide their own faith by themselves and hence the sky is the limit. 100 years ago, a momentous event occurred. On November 2nd, 2017, the British government recognized the right of the Jewish people to a national home. On that date, in a letter from British Foreign Minister Arthur James Balfour to Lord Walter Rothschild of the British Zionist movement, the British government recognized the right of the Jewish people to fulfill its age-old dream of returning to the land of Israel. The Balfour Declaration was not a legally binding document but it set the stage for important developments that set the foundation for the creation of the State of Israel years later. The Balfour Declaration, from my point of view, first and foremost laid the base for Israel and the Jewish people to be part of the family of nations. This was the first time that a superpower at the time such as Britain had recognized the right of the Jewish people to a homeland. And with amazing speed, it set in motion a quick succession of important developments. Nothing occurred earlier because there was no vacuum. There was the Ottoman Empire. Once the vacuum was created, the British rushed in with the Balfour Declaration. And that brought about a historical change the Balfour Declaration did a couple of things on three different dimensions. First, hope. Second, direction. And third, infrastructure. The hope for every Jew all around the world that there is a homeland for the Jewish people. Secondly, the structures of both Keren Yisod, the Jewish agency, the Hebrew University, both the political, academic, structures. Lord Balfour even visited the Hebrew University in Jerusalem in 1925. The visionary Jewish leadership of the period established the Jewish institutions that would serve a future Jewish state. They include, of course, Kern Hayesod, established in 1920 in London and entrusted with raising the funds necessary to build the future state. The land of Israel, which had for centuries been an undeveloped corner of the Ottoman Empire, became a dynamic and growing place, a magnet for Jews from Europe. Israel has become an anchor and beacon for the Jewish people worldwide. On the broader international scene, it is a country making a difference in the world far beyond its size. To me, as Israel's former ambassador to the court of St. James and to the United Nations, I could see that walking the halls and the corridors of the United Nations every day. I saw flags of 193 countries. I saw 25 flags with a cross on them. I saw 15 flags with a crescent on them. But I only saw one flag with a Magen David and that flag flying high, tall and proud in the family of nations began with Balfour Declaration.